Hey everyone, uh, it's Mika f uh, from Beta now, and I know I used to be Mickey from Awesome Crafty Gamer, but I decided I was going to change my name. I didn't really like the name anymore, and I saw that my Dangerous Fellows pr playthrough went uh, pretty well, so I decided to just pick up a that, and I know it's a little weird to get to see my uh, face now, because I got a webcam, and I... I'm actually streaming now on Twitch, uh, same name, Mikeda, and I had my first stream today and it was fun, so if you're watching live stream, be sure to check that out. And without further ado, we should get into this episode. I agreed to share a room with Judy. The room was filled with chairs and desks pushed to the corners to make room for blankets in the middle, but it was more than enough for me, because I was no longer alone. I won't have to be afraid. Judy stood next to me, patting my back to comfort me. You must have been so scared all by yourself. It wasn't that bad. I'm fine. Hey, I'm your friend. You can tell me. You don't have to keep it to yourself anymore. Judy, I'm just so glad that I met you here. Me too. Look at you. Your face is covered in ash. That's right, I did. I think last episode there was a fire. Judy took a small piece of cloth and wiped my cheek. Oh, you did a good job putting out that fire back there. I'm still in a little bit of shock. I know, right? I mean, who would have thought there was a lighter in there? I think one of those boys smoke, to be honest. It's weird none of us ever spotted it before. We would have definitely put it to use. I didn't know that a lighter could be that destructive if it floats. Guess I'm good. Yeah, it was a strangely big explosion. Hmm. I felt it was a lot of fire for such a small lighter. But I decided to leave her question unanswered, as I didn't want to worry her with baseless suspicion. But in the end, does anything even make sense anymore? Thanks, I'm just so wise this playthrough. You're right, it doesn't really. She looked at me and smiled. I mean, it is the end of the world. We don't care anymore. I was so happy to see her that I almost forgot how exhausted I was. We spent some time catching up with each other. She told me how she made it here. She also told me the names of the people here I hadn't met. I couldn't remember the last time I felt this piece. Slam, or rather... We were both alarmed by the sudden noise. The door slammed open, followed by... Hey, you! I don't remember her... Uh, voice. It was something snoot. Don't you know how to knock? Oh, knock, my... She <laughs> pointed at me with a nasty... How do I... How do I sneer? The snort. <laughs> I need to talk to you. Now? Can't you wait until tomorrow? Judy interrupted her. She seemed annoyed. It's okay, Judy. I'm not okay with it. She's only doing this to pester you. Do you always need to make everyone in this place speak for you? It's gotta be easy not having to open your own mouth. I'll be fine, Judy. It'll only be a minute. Who says it'll only be a minute? I'll come with you. I want to try and make up with her. Wait, y'all, I forgot. Aaron's in the... Aaron, check. It can really be scary, isn't it? Not gonna say the word sign. <sighs> okay, fine. I followed Scarlet out to the hallway. So what did you want to talk about? For your information, I'm not here to chit-chat with you. The classroom that was on fire. You know. Do you know what we kept in there? I remember someone told me it was storage. Right. So what about it? You gave me another smile. Well, thanks to you and your little fire extinguisher, all our food is gone. How would that be my fault? Do I look like that much of a pushover? I started getting annoyed. She ignored me and kept on speaking. There's a cafeteria on the first floor. I think you should go there and bring back some food. You know, uh, unrelated, but I love your outfit. Uh, why does it have to be now? It was obvious she was trying to, her best to give me a hard time here. Why do you think? Because I'm hungry. What? Didn't you say you wanted to make up with me? Scarlet looked at me and laughed with a All we do in is sneering, bro. Refused her. But as I decided to just do it and tried to find my way down the stairs. I know I was being a complete idiot for doing what Scarlet told me. But this isn't just for her. It's also for myself. Had I turned her down, she would have been more vicious to me. And it's already tough as it is. Try to keep safe from all the zombies. 
Ugh. I never liked walking around school that night. I didn't have a flashlight either. Thankfully, at least the moon illuminated the corridors. Should I have asked someone to come with me? But I didn't want to give Charlotte anything to yell at me about. I just needed to grab food and get out of there as fast as I could. The windows were carelessly nailed shut with wooded panels. The cold air through the broken windows made the room even colder than the floor above. As I tiptoed my way toward the cafeteria, grrr. <laughs> I surprise. Holding my breath, I ducked instantly. <gasps> I noticed a zombie lurking outside one of the windows. It didn't seem to have noticed I was here. Don't I have a bat on me? I, I should have a bat, honestly. I didn't expect them to have made it through the gate. Could I be sure there weren't any of them inside? I took a look around. This is me looking for zombies. <laughs> but I found no sign of zombies inside, even though I can never be too. I saw a door a few steps ahead. It wasn't the door to the cafeteria. Also, there was a big pile of chairs and desks in front of it. They probably did this to block off the zombies, but I needed to walk past that door to get to the cafeteria. I contemplated for a moment. Should I keep going? Should I use it? Oh, I guess, I think that was Ethan. I don't remember his name. Why do I have to do this? Let's just go back. She had gone too far. I had no reason to risk my life just that so that she could have a night snack, what I genuinely wish was just to get along well. But if she kept putting me in danger like this, I was fine with never getting along. I turned around to head back upstairs. Ah, <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, I missed you. He was Ethan. He really scared me. Can can you like, give me a hug, bro? I had no idea how long he had been there, but Ethan was looking down at me. For Give me your bat, please. I'll take care of myself from here. What are you doing here? Oh wait, wait, I gotta do a man voice. I'm just getting some food from the cafeteria. A night snack. For yourself? Uh, yeah. I didn't want to say it was for Scarlet. It'd be like calling her out. Why am I protecting her? I've got some chips upstairs if you want. And there's that stuff you brought too, remember? Yeah, we met in like a grocery store. What? I thought there was no food left. Scarlet must have lied to me. Oh, that's right. I forgot. I felt so betrayed for what Scarlet had done to me. Are you that hungry? Since it's too dangerous here, let's go back upstairs. I don't need you to protect me, bro. We have a meeting soon. Ethan gestured at me and I followed him slowly. He, he, he went. Standing up straight, I started walking back up the stairs. Fortunately, the zombie outside the window seemed to have left. Fortunately. Even if it approached to attack us, it would have taken it a while to make it way its way through that barricade of chairs and beds. That door uh, looks like it's connected to the other building. Where does that door lead? The middle school building? Ethan paused for a few minutes before he continued talking. We used to stay there. With a more with a little more people than now. Oh well, it was quite peaceful, and no one got hurt either. Oh my gosh, people died! Ah, we were certain that it was safe. Hold on. I need my stuffed animal to hold me for this moment. I'm sorry, Lillian. Lillian is my poor little cat off to the side. Uh, let's see. Hello. Did we see her? Did we see her? I'm not gonna bother her now. Anyway. Anyway. This is Strawberry. She smells like strawberries. That's not her name. But I wanted to show you the reversible octopus I got. You know, you know, he's pretty cool. Then this is his happy side. But right now we're angry. Hold up, hold up. Let me take the cat ears off. Okay, now we're ready. We were certain that it was safe, but one day the entrance doors opened, letting zombies into the school somehow. Oh no. Those of us who survived the attack ran over to this building to hide. And after the zombies left, we blocked the door with anything we could find. He somehow has a deeper voice now. As you saw, we didn't have anything better than those chairs and desks. That's why we have to keep patrolling the area. 
So that means this floor must be one of the dangerous areas in this building. We don't come down here. Troll. Yes, I should have. But yeah, that would have been helpful. So that means Scarlet set me up. She knew I'd be in danger. What a. I can't believe it. I don't know what to do with her. Opening it. What took you so long? We can't have the meeting all night. Ah! Ethan went to the corner and leaned against one of the desks. <sighs> I took a deep breath and tried to ignore her. I stood next to Judy and let her know nothing bothered me, not even Scarlet. Sorry, what's the meeting for? I missed you. We were talking about the Night Watch. Night Watch? Like staying awake at night? Something like that, yeah. Oh my gosh, I missed Harry! I thought Harry was in glasses. But, you know what? I'm, I'm not, I'm not bad. Split into pairs and choose different areas to check out at night. How should we do it? Isn't it a bit much for a newcomer to do? Lawrence, that's his name. Do you think you can do it? I'll help. I need to get used to my way around here anyway. I nodded while looking straight into Lawrence's eyes. Hi, Lawrence. Alright. The octopus has stayed on my head long enough. Um, 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 um. Not my turn to know. Remind me what areas need covering tonight. This name Eugene. I don't know how to do Eugene. Uh, the lab on the third floor. I feel like he would just whisper. The schoolyard. I'm gonna have to do a voice like Velma for her. Isn't that outside? Yeah, but it'll just be a quick look around the building. What's wrong? Are you scared? The zombie I had just seen through the window crossed my mind. I was afraid it was still out there. Even if it would just be a quick walk, I'd still have to be outside. It might end up seeing me. Scarlet scoffed at my silence. So what's your pick? I forget where people are going. Go to the roof. Oh, it's Harry. I'll take the rooftop. Oh, you and I took that. Want me to switch with you? I didn't want to be an inconvenience to them, so I shook my head, rejecting rejecting her offer. Well, the lab is taken too. What a pity. Just kept pushing my button. Don't worry, you're not going to be on your own. It really is just a quick stroll around the building. That's it. I'm also patrolling the schoolyard. We'll be on the same. Hey, I thought I was the rooftop. Harry gave me a warning. Let's make sure to stay together. Don't lose each other. We won't lose each other. Ethan handed me a small candy bar. <laughs> he wasn't the friendliest guy here, but I could tell he cared. Oh my gosh, he looks like Shiro. Thanks, Ethan. I was back outside. The fact that I had to come out made me anxious. Careful, alright? Going to be fine. But this time I had others cheering me on, so I knew I could do it. I was no longer alone. Hydration check. Oh, and that's the end of the episode. Anyway, thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and it's good to be back on YouTube. And don't forget to check out my Twitch account, um, Nikita also. Yeah, she's... Um, it'll be linked down in the description below, and so will my Discord, and um, that's pretty much it. So, yep. Have a great day, everyone.